Okay, what we're going to do is a little bit of troubleshooting on the Projector PM300 system. We've had a few customers, um, specifically with motorhomes, uh, that are saying that their, their battery monitor is not charging up to 100%. So, first of all, what we're going to do is have a look at how this is connected. So, in your caravan or motorhome, you have the the head unit, uh, sorry, the, um, the monitor. Then we've got the brains, which is the battery management system here. And that's all connected through to a battery. So what happens is we have wires, that, a wiring harness that comes out of the back of here and it goes to the battery management system. So these are things like your LCD display. So this display, then we've got water tanks, uh, and then we've got 12 volt. So from your battery, it's wired into here. And then you've got solar up on the roof, and it's wired into here. And then you've got your 240 volt charger. So everything is in here. Your battery goes into here, your solar goes into here, and your wiring from your vehicle's alternator also goes into here. And this becomes the battery charger. From here, this breaks down anything 12 volt that's coming in, and it puts it out at 12 volt. So we can run our fans, our water pumps, our lights, our stereos, and things like that. So this monitor will, through its connections here, to into, to there, the LCD display, will give us a reading of our battery percentage. Now, what we're told from projector, anywhere from 100 to 75%, the battery is still 100% fully charged. There's something in this box that doesn't trigger until that percentage drops to about 74%. So when you're looking at your display, if it's saying 96 or 85, or when it gets to just under 75% from what we're told at Projector, that will trigger something in here which will go through a full cycle recharge, putting your display back to 100%. Now, if for some reason uh, it's still not showing 100%, the other option could be that either you have, or if it's a second-hand vehicle, somebody has wired something direct to the battery. So they might have wired a fan. They might have wired an Anderson plug. They may have wired something direct to the battery. If it's direct to the battery, this system will realise a voltage error because it's not going through the battery management system. So just keep in mind, if you're adding a 12-volt plug, or a 12 volt accessory, wire it through your battery management system. Now there are heaps and heaps and heaps of ports to wire it into, and they're all fused. So there's no need to wire anything direct to the battery, and you won't have a problem with your battery management system. I hope that helps, and have a great day.